a heat in the Wifold Challenge Cup between Sport Attention. Imperial on the Berkshire Station and the City of Bristol A on the Buckinghamshire Station. I'm looking forward to this race, Greg. I think it's quite well balanced. The times for both their races yesterday were very similar, a couple of seconds different. Similar weight crews as well. And in these y folds races, you often get slightly erratic steering, and we've got that straight off the start. I think that's Richard Stanhope. He's gone for his flag. He's steered Sport Imperial back towards the boys. They're going to need to make the correction themselves, which they're doing now to straighten up. They've done that while well, they're beside those red boys, which are a big red warning that if you don't straighten up soon, you're going to hit that boom, and they've managed to avoid doing that. Oxford Brooks, oh, sorry, City of Bristol made the correction themselves, and now we've got the crews level coming out of the island. And this is a really tricky bit for steering, because we, we talked about earlier, it's the widest part of the course, and the wind is, as you look at the rowers now, it's coming from behind us straight across, and uh, Cox's Falls get really affected by the wind. But uh, doing a good job now, Settling down into the race. They are, and I'm looking Second at the determination on the City of Bristol crew. Cameron Smith there on the right of the picture, really looking like he's determined on his face. He said this is his sixth Henley, and he's massively looking forward to competing. He looks like he's enjoying competing. Enjoy the pain, Cameron, because this is what it's all about. Being alongside another crew, hanging in there on the Henley course. And let's see if this crew from the city of Bristol can keep this going, as Sport Imperial are going to look to try to edge away now. They're certainly giving it a go, aren't they? Still at 39 or 40 strokes a minute. They're absolutely not uh, letting Sport Imperial go at all. Although, if you look in this shot, it's really interesting. Well, now we've moved down the course past Forley into this third quarter and that Sport Imperial crew have been able to move smoothly away and it's looking like about two or three lengths of clear water between them. Matthew Whaley in the stroke seat of the Sport Imperial crew. He's an experienced guy. He was the reserve for the boat race uh, back in the Oxford and Cambridge boat race back in 2010. He was a losing finalist here at Henley and this year he wants to go one better and see if this could be the year for Sport Imperial and this crew is moving smoothly. It's really interesting watching them now if you compare to the uh, images we saw, saw from the previous shot when the crews are still pretty much side by side and going flat, flat out. Now you've got one crew out in the lead taking their number of strokes, taking them all the way down. They've got a very long, fluid uh, stroke and the boat's moving really well underneath them in a commanding lead now. Sport Imperial are going to want to conserve the energy they've got because I know they're going to race a very classy crew from Mercantile tomorrow. So um, they'll have to have everything going their way. So they'll they'll be very aware of the draw. The draw in Henley is made the Saturday uh, before the regatta starts um, in the town hall here in Henley. So you can see your draw. You can see how you're going to progress through the regatta. So they'll know they want a good, solid performance today, which sets them up for a good week. Um, and they'll... Sport Imperial crew, we see them coming towards us here. Josh Butler in the bow seat, moving quite smoothly, trying to set their boat up, make it feel smooth for the other three in front of him. Sergio Bristol aren't, uh, aren't giving up by any means, still stroking at 36 strokes a minute, trying to get back onto level terms. You look on their faces, it's hard. You know, this kind of two thirds, three quarters into the race, this is where it really starts to hurt, especially after the fight they put in with the first minute or two to keep on terms. Yeah, City of Bristol were very brave off the start. They really went for it. They knew that was their chance. And uh, they tried to rattle this crew from Sport Imperial. There was the steering going on. And once they got into a steady pace, once they got out after a couple of minutes, Sport Imperial will be able to take control of it. Now City of Bristol are having to pay for that hard work. And they've got that pain. They've got that lactic, lactic acid causing them pain in their legs and having to tolerate it and still keep going, which they're doing very well here coming down the course. They had a really good race yesterday, and they were the, the roles reversed their race against Maidstone yes, yesterday. They won by four lengths and had the luxury of uh, sitting where Sport Imperial are now. And unfortunately, that's not the case for them today. But uh, spirited, I think, really trying to come back on terms, taking their rate of striking up as we come to enclosures, trying to get back at Sport Imperial. Well, that crew from City of Bristol will want to race their way home. Edward Piercy in the stroke seat of the City of Bristol crew as we see them here. This is the first time racing in a Coxless 4 at Henley. He's competed twice in the 8 in 2015 and 2016. He started rowing at university back in 2010 at Salford University where he was the captain. So he's captain of his crew today. But um, they've 
come up against a tough one with Sport Imperial coming down here in front of the enclosures. Able to conserve that energy, thinking about Mercantile who lay and wait for tomorrow. They'll have to wait till the end of the day today to find out what time that race happens. But they know who they're going to be racing. And they'll be getting back to their accommodation. Looking to refuel, get ready for a big one tomorrow. And if nothing else, just enjoying this moment because it's a wonderful thing to, to experience. And that's confirmation of that win in the Y-Folds for Sport Imperial over the city of Bristol A.